I'm Eloise and this is my channel and for today's video I have been inspired by a makeup artist called Molly Isles here on YouTube and she did a little series where she recreated looks from her favourite makeup artists and I just thought that was such a fab idea so I wanted to follow in her footsteps and kind of do the same thing so yeah make sure to check out her YouTube because she has got some amazing videos and the five looks that she recreated from other makeup artists were absolutely phenomenal so I hope to do this little series justice for you Molly. So today I have chosen to do this fun little look that Stacey Marie recently did on her Instagram. I will insert the picture here. She looks absolutely phenomenal and she is more known for her client makeup so it's really nice to see her do her own makeup because obviously we're in lockdown she doesn't have any clients at the moment sadly for all of us makeup artists so yeah I saw that photo the other day and I really really wanted to recreate it so here we are and I'm really really impressed with what I've done so yeah so yeah I definitely want to do this as a little series the same as Molly so make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of the other episodes so yeah without further ado if you're interested in seeing how I got this look then make sure you keep on watching but before you do make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe and all that jazz and let's crack on okay so I've done my base off camera because she blows her eyeshadow out so far it would just be so tragic to do your base afterwards it would just completely ruin the blown out effect. So as long as my under eyes are completely set I have baked a little bit just so that I can flick away any fallout because this look is pretty dark so if anything falls down my face I'm literally just gonna give up. <laughs> so to start off with I'm gonna go in with the P. Louise Mitchell base. I'm taking a dry sponge and then I'm just gonna take from the top and press this all over the lid. I actually got this tip from Stacey Marie ages ago, but I've only just started using it. So for some reason, I cannot, for the life of me, find my Stacey Marie Carnival palette. So I'm going to have to improvise. So she starts off. Let me just quickly get up the photo. I have watched the little tutorial on her Instagram as well, just to make sure I know exactly what order to put everything in. But she starts off with this really, really deep purple first. So I'm going to take the 39A palette and the colour in the top right corner and I'm gonna load up a Morphe R39. So we're going straight in with the darkest color. So I'm literally just gonna stamp that in. And this might take me a while, so I'll probably speed through this bit. But I'm just going to pop this color all the way into the inner corner and the outer corner, just creating my shape. I'm literally just sticking my brush into my socket like that. And that is where the color is going. So I'm going to keep this quite rounded for now. And then when we go in with the pinks and the orange, that's when we can sort of start to wing it out. And I don't want it to be a prominent winged out look like I usually do. So I'm not going to do this kind of, it's just literally just going to be blown out soft colors, if that makes sense. We'll see what I mean in a minute. Literally, what that looks like, hopefully. <laughs> so I'm going to use the same brush. I'm going to actually take off the excess on a piece of kitchen towel. She always has a dirty towel on her lap and I should probably actually do that. I tend to clean my brushes off on like my dressing gown or my pajama bottoms. <laughs> just tickling those edges, I'm barely touching the skin. Just to start diffusing the colour ever so slightly. We want to keep this shape exactly where we've put it. Doing this step is just going to make it so much easier when we come to blend the edges with the pink. I'm happy with that. So next we're gonna go into a pink. So I'm gonna take this berry shade on a Morphe M514. So it's a really long bristle haired brush that's really gonna to help to blend this for me. So again, I'm barely, barely touching the skin and I'm placing my brush half on the purple, half off the purple and slowly it will start to blend the purple. But again, I'll probably have to speed through this section because it might take me a while. Okay, I'm gonna dip back into the purple with my R37. And just re-establish that color where we've blended out a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna go in with an orange. I don't actually know. I think I'm gonna go in with this yellowy orange. This is um, Makeup Geek Chickadee. 
I might mix in a tiny bit of the middle large shade. And this is on a much bigger brush. This is a Morphe M573. Just because this is probably going to be the blowing out shade. Yeah, that is blending it really nicely. Just bringing that colour right up into the front of the brow. I love the way that that looks. And then right into that inner corner. Oh, I'm loving how this is looking. So I'm going to now start to wing this out towards my temple. But can you see the majority of the shape is round and then we're literally just using this shade and maybe we'll go in with the pink after to really blow it out. I was watching her live the other day with Be Perfect and she actually takes a face brush to do this bit as well. So I'm just going to do the same. So with the orange and the yellow. Just so that you get a really nice blend into the skin. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, going back in with the pink. Just to re-establish, I feel like we've lost a little bit with the orange. I'm now going to use the same pink brush with a touch of that purple, literally, the smallest amount, you can barely see it on the brush. And I'm just gonna ever so lightly pull that purple out a little bit. Because it looks like there is a little bit of that purple just pulled out ever so slightly. And that Morphe R39 isn't really going to do that for me. It's a little bit more of a packing fluffy brush, if that makes sense. Oh, I love this. I love this. I've had no fallout whatsoever yet, which is fab. For the lid, what should we go in with? Yeah. So for the lid shades, I'm going to take the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. And I'm going to take Good Place and Empowered because she looks like she's got a dark purple on the outer corner and a slightly more berry on that inner corner. In her tutorial, she put down a primer, I believe, so I'm gonna take my Urban Decay Original Eyeshadow Primer, and I'm just gonna apply that with a brush. I'm gonna now pack on the matte purple, just to re-intensify that crease. I think there might be a little bit of um, black in this look in the deepest points of the eye, so inner outer corner and the crease. Yeah. Okay, so in this photo, she has got a bit of glitter on her brow bone. I'm gonna say that the brow bone highlight is Fantasy by Peaches and Cream. I could be wrong, but she hasn't detailed it, so we're just gonna go for it. So, what I'm going to do is a little Gold George trick, who I will also be doing on this little series. Spritz my eye with a bit of all-nighter, just so that it's not too much on the eye. And just a wee bit on that brow bone. Oh, I love that. 29 minutes later. <laughs> That, honestly, is one of the best blends I think I've done in a long time. And of course it had to be when I was doing a Stacey Marie inspired look. So let's do the black in the waterline. So I'm just taking my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pimps on the shade 0. So I'm going to take a Zoeva 230 and just buff that slightly lower. Make sure to connect it up to the top lash line as well. I'm so surprised, I haven't even got any fallout underneath. Right, I'm gonna take my purple with the same brush and just press that underneath, just to set that pencil in place. So now I'm gonna take my pink on this Zoeva 227. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it there because otherwise I will be here for another 29 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is put my lashes on, do the other eye, do my lips and show you the finished look. So this is the finished look. I am so obsessed with this look right here and I'm so impressed with my blending skills. I haven't done a dramatic, crazy look like this in such a long time on my channel. And I'm so, so happy to have chosen Stacey Marie to be the first makeup artist where I recreate their look. So like I said in the intro, this little series was inspired by Molly Isles. I will put her channel down below and also her Instagram. She is an amazing makeup artist and I'm so glad I came across her because... 
what a fab series idea for YouTube. Be sure to stay tuned for the rest of the makeup artists that I'm gonna be inspired by. So if you've enjoyed this video, then please make sure to give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe and all that jazz. I'm Eloise, this is my channel and I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.